Welcome to our video, Japan and the World. The topic for this time is, Editorial, The Foolishness of China's Military Exercises Around Taiwan. If China's leaders took the outrageous step of blockading or invading Taiwan, it would be inevitable that the mainland coast would be blockaded in return. I would like to focus on the editorial board, the Sankey Shimbun. China's military has just held large-scale exercises practicing the encirclement of Taiwan. Japan cannot turn a blind eye to such outrageous behavior that disrupts the peace and security of its neighborhood. On October 14 the Chinese military conducted drills in the sea and airspace around Taiwan. They deployed 17 warships, including the aircraft carrier Liaoning and 153 military aircraft, including fighter jets, ground forces and the rocket force, which oversees China's nuclear weapons arsenal, also participated. In addition, 17 China Coast Guard vessels patrolled around Taiwan. This display of force involved the highest number of military aircraft ever seen in a single day. Contempt from China A spokesperson for China's Taiwan Affairs Office, which is in charge of Taiwan policy, contemptuously referred to Taiwan's President Lai ching te by his first name when speaking about the drills. The spokesperson claimed that this insult was intended as a disciplinary action against President Lai for fabricating the fallacy of Taiwan independence. He added that the military exercise was an act of justice. His comment refers to President Lai's remarks on October 10, known as a double 10 day ceremony. It marks the founding of the Republic of China, Taiwan's official name. President Lai stated, The People's Republic of China has no right to represent Taiwan. This drew a vehement reaction from Beijing. However, this is a difference of opinion in cross-strait relations. China has no right to use military exercises to attempt to intimidate Taiwan just because of a difference in views. Preparations underway well before Double Ten Day. Moreover, the preparations required for China's large-scale military exercises could not have been completed in just a few days. Taking strong exception to Lai's double 10-day speech was merely an excuse. The plan to intimidate the Taiwanese people at this particular time must have been in the works for quite some time. It was only natural that President Lai should criticize the Chinese military exercises on his Facebook page as undermining peace and stability in the region. China is likely continuing its military provocations in an attempt to break the will of the people of Taiwan. Playing with fire. This is viewed as a prelude to China's effort to annex the island. Nonetheless, if China's leaders were to take the outrageous step of actually blockading or invading Taiwan, it would be inevitable that the mainland coast would be blockaded in return. Moreover, if the U.S. military or other forces were to lay mines on shipping routes to major ports in mainland China, most of its imports and exports via sea would be cut off. China then would not have access to vital supplies of food and energy. The resulting unrest might well lead to the overthrow of the dictatorial Chinese Communist Party regime. Beijing should immediately stop playing with fire by threatening Taiwan. Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Kazuhiko Aoki stated at a press conference that he had conveyed Japan's concerns to the Chinese side regarding the exercises. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba simply said, Peace and security in the Taiwan Strait and surrounding areas are extremely important issues for the region. Our country will closely monitor the situation. A Taiwan contingency would be an emergency for Japan. While enhancing the nation's deterrence vis-a-vis -vis China, the Prime Minister himself should explicitly criticize and reprimand China. That's all. Editorial. The Foolishness of China's Military Exercises Around Taiwan
if China's leaders took the outrageous step of blockading or invading Taiwan. It would be inevitable that the mainland coast would be blockaded in return. From the editorial board, the Sankey Shimbun.